guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Arc Taking Today. We're jumping back to some more Create Astral. Hopefully, you guys are ready. So, we just left off last episode getting all these machines set up, or these miniature contraptions, and also getting us some wood, some rubber here, so we can get ourselves some belts. Today, we get access to belts. Plus, we're going to be doing several other cool things. Uh, but I have updated. There was an update in between last episode and this one for this mod pack. And I believe this was added because I don't remember this being here. But look at this. We get five blocks of redstone for completing that. Uh, yes, please. I will take five blocks of redstone. And the first thing this is going on is my hammer. Um, all of this redstone can be used to make my hammer significantly faster. Uh, so this is going to take up one of my upgrades. And uh, yeah, I will put that on there. That is awesome. So we ended up getting the modification advancement for that. And that's going to allow me to mine. But at the moment, we don't have the best of mines, right? It just kind of goes down and I don't really have a good setup for that. Um, I'm going to farm up a little bit of iron. But today, we definitely want to get ourselves uh, a nicer mine going. One that, well, we can do with the create mod. Before I go mining, I did have one thing to take care of. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, take care of this fella. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Get out of here. I need, I need the leads. Give me the leads. Get back, you fiends. I really don't want to hit the golems. Oh, man, I don't want to hit the uh, the villagers. Oh, man, that, the movement of the axe is so cool with this. There we go. So before I start mining some of the things I've exposed inside the mine, I definitely want to take some of the lapis that I currently have and uh, use that to actually craft, craft myself fortune uh, on my main pick. Now, it may seem a little bit weird in the quest. It does tell you to use four of these like this with this, but it doesn't work, as you can see. But if you spread it across, it is actually, it'll actually utilize one of your ability slots and give you the first level of luck. Uh, and unfortunately, it doesn't show any, like, visual change other than the, the little handle at the bottom, which you can't really see that well because of the, the durability bar. So if I go back into the mine here, I should be able to now get more bang for my buck when it comes to these ores, because you do get a fortune bonus. Um, so fortune one may not seem like a lot, but it could get you one or two extra ores, um, out of a single ore. So on my mini map, this big open cave showed itself and, uh, oh my God. Oh, there's even a geo down here. Oh, this is going to be perfect. I've got to get this all lit up as best I can to sort of prevent mobs from spawning, but this is going to be a great start. So we can actually mine up. A decent amount of uh, early game. Oh, we got gangster skeleton over here. We can mine up an early uh, amount of regular iron before we get that set up and automated because uh, sooner enough, we, uh, we're we going to have iron nice and automated for us, which would be kind of handy. Look at all of this ore, all the stuff you see glowing. There's also tin and stuff that's not glowing. But my goodness, there's a lot of resources in here. And is that another geode, like some sort of ice geode? This is awesome. There's even a mine shaft like right here. Oh, if we can get, oh, we gotta get into here and we gotta get a saddle. Oh, we got, we've gotta do this. Um, I've gotta mine down into this somehow. And, and we've got to get a saddle so I can get a horse. That way we can have easy travel in the overworld. By the way, with this mini map, it, it, there's a nice little cheese you can do. Uh, I see a dot right here. If you see a little like purplish pink dot, you know there's a minecart chest just waiting for you. And right here it is. I need to grab, yeah, I'll grab the bread. I don't need the coal, but I'll take it. But the golden apple's nice and some pumpkin seeds. So we can go ahead and uh, make ourselves some pumpkins. I already have some. I would have preferred some melon seeds, but surely this isn't the only chest available here. There's bound to be more. Aha. Uh -huh. They left us another chest and still no saddle. I know I could fish up a saddle. We might have to do that. We might have to fish for a little bit to get a saddle because I really, really want one, but we could also get pretty lucky here as well. 
Come on, chest! No saddle, but we did get a katana and a name tag. Name tag could pose, could be kind of useful. Uh, katana, do we really need that? I don't know. I will take some glow berries though. Oh, this is pretty sweet. There's another one of those structures. And no saddle, but we got a dagger and more glow berries. But inside of here, there could be something special. Come on. What could be hiding in here? Maybe, maybe we'll get lucky and these will have a, a doohickey. I think that's one of the, the mods in here is called doohickeys. So yeah, maybe we'll get lucky and be able to actually uh, break it. Man, I can't wait till we get better tools, more resources so that we, we can mine faster. It is uh, really hard to mine. Okay, let's see. No chests down here. Oh, and there's a broken area. But there is a chest here with a music disc in it. Okay. I don't need cobble. And this has piercing and some books. I will always take some books. Uh, the piercing though? Man, it's <laughs> got a got an inventory sort here. Hmm. There's a Oh my god, there's a spawner up here. Oh no, 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 no. Um <laughs> Maybe we can get up here? That's the hope? Oh boy. But, it doesn't seem like we can hit mobs. Man, with the way this works. Very weird. There we go. There is a spawner. If only we can just get over there fast enough to take it down before it spawns another set. Oh, come on. There we go. We'll get this spider down. Hopefully we can break this and get there quicker. There we go. So that can't get through there, right? We, uh, yeah, this is gonna take a moment. Okay, I got it all torched up. Come on, there we go. Oh, it's so cringy when they close up. Okay, so we got some, some books, cobweb shot. We got a, a growing staff. Uh, okay. Interesting. Is that better than this? And there's a pot in there as well. And we got a sickle, it looks like. Oh, and some iron. I'm gonna take advantage of some of that. Andesite compound. So I wonder if these, these must be edited to the point where that uh, they, yeah, they're definitely edited. There's melon seeds though. Maybe you still can get a saddle from here, but it doesn't seem like it's a very high chance. My goodness, that took a bit to get back. Uh, but I am back and I do have some supplies. I think I'm gonna try out fishing now that I have some string and things like that. I mean, nothing should be more peaceful than fishing, right? Yeah, th this, this, this is kind of peaceful, relaxing. It's gonna take me a while, but I'm really wanting a saddle. I, just for some odd reason, <laughs> I'm really wanting that. Like, I'm really starting to think that the potential of getting a saddle is is basically zero. Um, but I did fish up a gun that has power three and unbreaking. Gun, quote unquote, bow. I should do a little bit more fishing. Maybe we can get a saddle. I know the villager trades currently are disabled or I would use villagers, but yeah, I'm gonna keep trying. So I may have done a little bit of fishing, and when I say a little bit, an entire Minecraft and a half day worth, and an entire durability's worth of fishing. And this is what I got out of it. Um, 24, a bunch of puffer fish, but no treasure at all. So I don't know if a saddle is something that is, uh, like treasure in general is just not something you can get, or a saddle is not something you can get. You can't craft a saddle, 
And I didn't find it in the dungeon, and it doesn't show up inside of the dungeon loot pool, which is kind of interesting. I, I, I have no idea. So I guess my luck of finding saddles is just not with me today. I mean, I guess I did find one treasure. So maybe if I fished a little bit more, I would eventually find one. We'll work on that later. Uh, but I've got bigger and better things to do today. Uh, we have more work to do inside the create mod. So we need to take ourselves a mechanical drill and we're going to use this to mine up some diamond. Now I was told that you can't just up and mine, <laughs> up and mine diamond. Um, so we are kind of left to actually have to use the drill. And uh, once we do this, I would love to tip this hammer and also tip my main pickaxe. And that's going to make uh, things a little bit easier on us. I think it increases the mining speed just a tad. Uh, but we need to get down to diamond level. And in this pack, in this version, diamond level is like negative 50s. So way, way far down, unless we can find a cave that just happens to be in just the right spot. Uh, we could potentially find a cave down here, but I have a lot of mining to do to get down here. So I've made it down to Y level negative 38, and I see on the minimap there's a little bit of a cave here. So I figure I, we can go ahead and check this out, swim around a little bit, see if we can spot any diamonds. And of course, right there's some diamonds. There's diamonds over there. Oh my gosh. You gotta love, like, the fact that this doesn't count is hilarious. Now, of course, the hard part is getting back over there and getting to that area where the diamond's at, but yeah, if, if you're patient enough, I mean, you can do anything. So yeah, just fill an area and then get rid of the water. And just, I'll, I'm gonna keep doing that till I get all the way over there. And we should be getting to it, yeah, right there. So I just filled in all the water up to this point. As you can see, there's definitely water up here. And uh, we should be able to fill this in. There we go, giving us a nice space to work with. And we are going to uh, break this through. All right, let's uh, let's clear the water though. That's that's gonna get annoying. So moment of truth to get our first diamond. Shift right click this on here, put that on there, and then we rotate. And this should break our first diamond. And then we'll be able to tip our tool. And uh, after that, there we go. Now that we have this, oh, I guess that does not accept. You, I, we have to tip our tinker tool first. Um, so once we tip that, then it's just, it's a whole gonna be a whole lot easier because we can just break it with our pick, hopefully. Well, well, so now that I have this, we can also tip it with diamond. And uh, does that increase the mining speed? It does. Oh, very nice. I know we gotta go all the way back down though to mine the diamond and hopefully we have a little bit more luck on us as well. Uh, as you can see, we have upgrade two upgrades. You know what? Do we have enough lapis to upgrade? It does tell me here that the next upgrade requires one diamond. So if we just mine three, we can maybe upgrade to the next level of fortune. Ooh, that'd be helpful. Just like that, we can now boop some diamond. Oh, this is, this is great. So I need a diamond to upgrade our tool. For some reason, that didn't let me break it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, we got three out of that. So, oh, this is super helpful. So we'll head back and then I got to make another trip back. But this will allow me to tip this, which I want to tip my hammer, which should help with the mining speed a little bit. And uh, man, then we're going to be just about set. Like I have enough lapis to upgrade our pick even more. So, I mean, we're immediately upgrading right here. Let's see, one diamond, that'll put another level. It's luckier now. Very, very nice. And then let's hit this with a diamond. Nice. And so this did bump up our mining speed a little bit. And I'm curious to see how good this actually works. As far as the mining speed on the hammer, eh, it still needs a lot of redstone. But now we can mine redstone, which is fantastic. So this time around, I was smart. I brought some doors to make the process a little bit easier. Plus I can actually chill out in here now. There we go. Nothing like a good old door to catch our breath. And I'm able to mine. Oh goodness, all the diamonds while I'm here. Hopefully we get a nice uh, amount from here. Man, I I'm down back in the, uh, the initial mine here and just like the scope of this area and seeing all the redstone that I can now mine because I have access to it. Oh, I'm so happy. And I, I wanna gather as much redstone as I can just so I can speed this hammer up. 
Like, we've got to speed that up. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to die. Woo! <laughs> Thank goodness for the skills I've learned playing Vault Hunters. Hey, and now they're stuck down here, so I don't have to worry about them anymore. There's even more diamond ore down here, and it's pretty rare to find diamond ore exposed into walls like this, so... I'm gonna grab it. So, we should be getting, like, I don't know, this is gonna be Fortune 3, which is gonna be fantastic. As you can see, diamond there. Boom! Ah, another upgrade, thanks to all those diamonds that we farmed up. Oh, things are looking good. Now, at the moment, I can't put any more haste on this because I'm out of upgrade slots. Uh, but to be able to fix that, I'm hoping this isn't a mistake, but I can use a golden apple. This should convert the one ability and exchange it for two upgrades. So if we do this, I should now be able to hasten this even more. And this puts hastier on there. And then we put haste S on there. Oh, this should, this should be a little bit faster. This is now going to be, it says 7% increased mining speed. But I, I'm really hoping that I didn't make a mistake here and this is actually going to be worth it. Is it any, any faster? I would say definitely faster. It's definitely twice as fast as it was before. Which is saying something, for sure. We have a pickaxe that can actually mine some gold. We can now move a little bit further and get ourselves, honestly, one of the best tools. One of the best tools available to us. And that is going to be the Create Wrench. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, one of the things that, of course, you guys mentioned to me in the comments, because it's been a little bit, it's been since Stone Block 3 since I use REI. Uh, but if you have a crafting grid and you have the items in your inventory, you can hold down control and click, and it will automatically craft it, so you don't have to click it and then click the plus button, uh, which is a really nice and innovative thing. Uh, do we get anything from this? Oh, some more cogwheels and shafts, which are going to be perfect because... Now that we have all of our tool grinding done, uh, we can now grind more things, and that is going to be belts. And yeah, the I, I'm, I'm seriously debating on whether or not I could be the one to do something bad and put all these villagers in a hole. Oh, they're really, uh, they're really something, aren't they? But yes, okay. So I've got some kelp cooked up, and then uh, I also have uh, some rubber. So to get the rubber, all I did was take some of that sap that I got off my trees and drop it in there. And now I have belts. Uh, and so we should be able to craft more of this up. So let's get into belts. Let's see. Create belt. Oh, this is going to be nice now that we have that. I love how I just told you guys what you can do and then I didn't, didn't even use it. This is going to be in the next section. Uh, we get some more belts for using our belts. And then we're going to be able to make uh, andesite funnels, which are going to be super helpful, and tunnels, which are not as useful, uh, <laughs> I would say. Uh, but moving forward, this is going to be uh, very, very helpful. Just belts alone are really going to change up a lot of this stuff we have set up here. Um, specifically, the process of taking this and turning it into gravel, uh, that is going to be something that I definitely want to get set up. And uh, also set up a little thing for uh, the mechanical press and definitely set up some way to automate multiple basins for multiple recipes. So with the new new toys that we have to play with, let's go ahead and uh, get this going. So I'm going to hook a mechanical belt up to here. And as you can see, I did raise the basin up one. Um, and I can go ahead and just put a block underneath it just to look like it's being supported by something. But I'm not moving my initial setups. It's going to save me a little bit of time. Later on, I am definitely going to be moving things. Uh, this is just very temporary for the moment. Uh, but just like this, look at that. More belts, more movement. Oh, this is, this is fantastic. And the good part is, is uh, because of the way these are actually connected, we should be able to add just a casing here. And if I head over here, uh, because this is going to be, yeah, the, the belts are going to be kind of slow, right? Uh, let's take some gear boxes and some casings. I know my inventory is a mess. Uh, soon we're going to be getting ourselves the ability to uh, upgrade our storage a little bit. But right here, let's go ahead and add a vertical because this doesn't, uh, doesn't really rely on whether or not, uh, the, what direction it's spinning. It doesn't rely on that. So if I pop that down and add my gearbox. It is spinning the wrong direction, that I will admit. Um, but we can change that. Let's see, I might put this over here. Changing, 
So directional stuff is just really, <laughs> really tedious when it comes to create. That is the one thing that uh, makes makes things a little bit harder. Um, let's see. That is spinning the right direction. So what I could do, I guess, is just break this log. And I'll grab one of my belts and we can extend the belt back by clicking with the belt. Also to remove and go back one. You take your wrench and you can go back one. Uh, this saves a whole lot of time. But you can see this is actually spinning in the proper direction. So I can get that going. And then to get this to reach, I can just go ahead and add this here. And then make sure to add that in there. And now that is going to be spinning properly. Uh, to get this spinning, what we can do is, believe it or not, we can use belts as a means of conveying our power. Just like that. And so now this simple setup is now running. And so we can put items in this barrel, such as plates. And the plates will be pressed. Um, you know, we could make this even shorter. But I'm going to leave it like it is, just for the fun of it. Uh, but to get the items out of the chest onto the conveyor belt, an andesite funnel. And this is going to be how that works. You can see this right here already detected where the output is. And so this will output the uh, the items right onto the belt for us. Um, and we will need a funnel on this side to send the items into the bin. Um, now we still are we're still going to have to do some of the things by hand here. Uh, but this helps me for the things like resin, for example. I can just put the resin in and it's just going to go in and start working, which is what I want. Some simple automation with belts. And it makes things so much easier. Uh, and then, of course, we can cover these up to keep things consistent. And we can even put, as you can see, we can even add decorations to the bottom of this to look like it's actually being supported. Which is really nice. Very, very nice. Now, as a bonus, right here at the end, I do want to show you guys how to make an andesite cobblestone generator. Um, so this is going to be very, very important. We have a regular cobblestone gen, but we can't use this design for this setup um, because we won't have a way to really collect our ingredients, right? So we need a way to do this. Uh, now, to get this done, what I want is a belt. Uh, let's see. We're going to have to have a belt that is underneath all of this. So we'll have a block of compressed that is going to go... Uh, let's just assume it's going to go up one like this. And this should give us room. I'm going to extend the belt this way. Actually, you know what? We can extend the belt this way. That should be fine. And we can actually make this uh, a little bit smaller, I think, and lower to the ground, potentially. Uh, but I had an idea. I was like, you know what? I want to try this cobblestone gin. Um, so, right here, we're going to need water, and we're going to need some building blocks as well. Now, apparently, when you uh, place down the lava, right, and you have the source generate above this, uh, so if we set up a simple cobblestone gin, which I've done this enough times, I should definitely know how to do that. Let's make sure you get that set up. Perfect. So this is a cobblestone gin. We put the uh, water right here. It's going to trickle down into that, and then this should have the chance it should have the it'll have the chance of generating andesite supposedly that's what we hope let's see will we ever get andesite so there's andesite you can see right there it just generated now how do we go about collecting this so that's that's sort of the hard part uh that i was thinking about without using a contraption um which we'll we'll potentially set up later we need a way of collecting these items that drop you can't just put a hopper down here uh so i was thinking why don't we use a belt that starts right here, right? And we have a belt, a small belt, doesn't even have to be large, a small belt. And then back here, we use an encased fan. Yes, that's right. An encased fan. And that encased fan is going to blow the block over here and out of the way. We will have some loss, but it should be able to push the block that way. And then to break the block, we can put the drill on there and have the drill facing down. And all we got to do is get the power going to this and we have ourselves a setup. Now, to make this look a little bit better, trapdoors. Trapdoors instead of the full blocks is definitely a way to go. And uh, we could even you do what we did here, uh, except for this is a stone generator. We could potentially get away with having just a... Uh, a waterlogged stair right here. So as you can see, my proof of concept working, 
uh, is working here. Now, uh, on the trap doors, in regards to this, you have to make sure this cobblestone stair, or make sure the stair, make sure the back is facing the lava, because if you turn it the other way, it'll turn to obsidian, um, as I definitely found out whenever I was uh, building this up. Uh, so, this is working now, and uh, so this is about as small as the setup could probably get for a cobblestone generator. It, it's not going to get any smaller than this. Um, without having a, like some sort of cobble gin machine that's a single block. But I have the, the power source down here. And we should be able to get the power in here. I just need to make sure that this is going to spin in the proper direction. So there's a there's not a real easy way to determine that. Other than this right here. So uh, we can now see that it is spinning the right way. I'm pretty sure if the rotation is spinning in the the right, which would be, what is it, clockwise? Clockwise, I think? Yeah, if it's spinning clockwise, I believe, then uh, I'll end up figuring this out. So it's spinning that way. Yeah, clockwise is pushing forward, and then going counterclockwise is uh, the sucking that it can do. So all in all, that's ready to go, and now we need to transfer the power over here. I don't think the fan bothers this too much. This is going to be a little bit slower than that one unless I can gear ratio this up. Um, and then I think we're gonna have to tie in somewhere to get this powered. But to move the power over to here, same thing goes, we'll just uh, increase the shaft up one. This doesn't really matter, uh, the direction. And so we'll do two vertical gearboxes, and then a gearbox here, and then we'll connect them. And the cobble gin, there it is. A very simple cobble gin that is working with the andesite, just like that. Uh, like I said, I need to get power from here over to here. Thankfully, belts don't really consume power. Uh, so we'll do two of those, and then we'll run that shaft into that, and that'll get it spinning. And then we'll do the same thing that we did to the other side. We'll make some barrels, and then we'll use a funnel and the funnel, once we turn the belt on, we'll start collecting all of our cobblestone. So the last bit, and there we go. And we are gonna produce andesite and cobblestone into this. Uh, now residual cobblestone that's generated from this particular setup, once we have some filtering later on, which is gonna be very nice, um, we will be able to tell this where to go and where to send that extra cobblestone. But for now, it's gonna be nice to generate it because there's a quest in here that uh, outside of this one, this is going to give us some catwalks, but there's a quest in here that I noticed and I was like, oh my gosh, and it's triple compressed andesite. Once we get to triple compressed andesite, it says right here, doing water and lava generator over triple compressed andesite increases your gains to 100%. Uh, that being said, triple compressed andesite might be more andesite than you realize. Uh, it is a lot. It is a lot of andesite, but... Uh, I think over time we'll definitely get it. And look at this, we get eight andesite alloy blocks. Hopefully we have that automated by then though. And just a little bonus, I was able to definitely uh, just upscale this at least once. And so uh, we have it going a little bit faster than it was. Not a whole lot faster, but it's enough to uh, definitely make a difference. And uh, the difference will definitely be noticeable. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope you learned something new. Of course, guys, be sure to click that subscribe button if you did. And also check out the Discord, discord.gg forward slash chosen architects. Become a member today and get access to the, the server. So we actually have a, uh, a create astral server up and running uh, for all of our supporters. So no matter what platform you are supporting on, uh, you can gain access through the Discord. So of course, guys, it's time to thank the supporter of today's video. And that huge thanks is going to go to our new supporter, Visto Gaming YouTube. Thank you so much for your amazing support, by the way, over in the Discord. Becoming a Discord premium member and supporting the channel in one of the best ways possible. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. Of course, I'll see you in the next Create episode. And as always, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you.